Hi, welcome to this tutorial, another in my series on trigonometry for right angle triangles. What I'm going to show you is how we can work out a missing angle in the triangle as long as we know any two of the sides. Now, you should be familiar so far then with the trigonometric ratios. The sine ratio, which is the opposite over the hypotenuse, I'll just write it briefly like this. The cosine ratio, which compares the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the tan ratio, which compares the opposite side over the adjacent side. So we've got these three ratios. So when it comes to working out an angle in a right angle triangle, what you've got to do is figure out what are the sides that you're given. So in this first triangle here, we're working with this angle theta. And so the 2.2 centimeter side is the side that's opposite it. And the one over here, which is opposite the right angle, well, that's the hypotenuse. And you should know the names of these sides by now because we've talked about them in an earlier tutorial. Okay, so once we've got these sides here, we just need to work out which of these three trigonometric ratios connects, in this case, the opposite side and the hypotenuse. And it is the sine ratio. So what we need to write is that the sine of the angle theta in this case equals the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. So it's 2.2 divided by the hypotenuse which is 5.6. We don't need to write the units in centimeters because they're both in centimeters so this has no dimension to it. Now to work out what theta is we have to remove the sine in this case and what we do is we take something called the inverse sine to both sides. And the inverse sine of sine theta just leaves us with theta. And on this side, we write the inverse sine, it's written like this, sine with a little minus one up here, of 2.2 divided by the 5.6. Now, if we were to work this out on a calculator, Okay, what the what 2.2 divided by 5.6 is. Let's just bring a calculator up and we can then do 2.2 divided by 5.6. And what do we get? Well, we get, if we're in accurate mode here, 11.28 or as a decimal, 0.392857 and so on. So we'll just write that in here. So we've got 0 0.3928 and so on. Now, in order to work this out, we just now need to take the inverse sign that's on this calculator, just written above the sign here. So we need to do shift sign and then we've got the inverse sign. And you could either type this value in or you could just press answer. It remembers the last thing that we got. Press equals and we've got that it's 23.13 odd degrees. So we'll just write that in here that this theta then equals 23.132 and so on. And then if we round this up to say one decimal place then we've got theta equals 23.1 degrees to one decimal place, one dp. Okay, so that's essentially what you do. So I've got two more triangles that you might like to try and find the angles in. We've got alpha here and we've got the angle beta here. So if you'd like to have a go, just pause the video and come back when ready and you can check your solution with my worked ones, okay? Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So for this triangle here, we need to name the sides. So we've got, in relation to alpha, 
This side here is the adjacent side, so I label that with an A. And again, the side opposite the right angle, the 5.1 meters, well, that is the hypotenuse. So we're looking for a trig ratio here that connects the adjacent and the hypotenuse, and it's the cosine trig ratio. So if we're working that one out, it's going to be the cosine, or cos for short, of the angle alpha. That's going to equal the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So 3.7 divided by the hypotenuse 5.1. So to get alpha, we need to take the inverse cosine of both sides. So that's going to leave us with alpha there equals the inverse cos then of 3.7 divided by 5.1. Now if we work this out, okay, let's just bring the calculator up again. What have we got? Well, 3.7 divided by 5.1, 3.7 divided by 5.1 equals, that's the exact fraction, but as a decimal, it's that value there, 0 0.7254 and so on. So we've got that this then equals the inverse cos of 0 0.7254 and so on. And then if we work this out, bring the calculator back up, we just need to do shift cos, so that's the inverse cos now, answer, close the bracket, equals, and we get 43.490 and so on degrees. So we just write that in here. So we've got that alpha then equals 43.490 and so on. And round this up to one decimal place, say, and that would be 43.5 degrees to one dp. Okay, so I hope you are able to get that one. Well, no prizes for guessing what this one's going to be. If we've had sine cos, I've given you an example involving the tan, because this side here is the adjacent side, and this side here is the opposite side to beta. So this is the tan ratio. Tangent compares the opposite to the adjacent side. So we've got, in this case, the tan of angle beta equals the opposite side, 17.3, divided by the adjacent side, 10.1. So to get beta, beta is going to equal the inverse tan of 17.3, divided by 10.1. And if we just bring the calculator up again, and do this calculation, 17.3 divided by 10.1 equals, and if we turn that to a decimal, 1.7128 and so on. So therefore, beta equals the inverse tan of 1.7128 and so on. If we take the inverse tan of that value, shift tan of that answer, what do we get? 59.722 and so on degrees. So therefore, beta equals 59.722 and so on degrees. Round that up to say one decimal place and you've got beta equals 59.7 degrees to one decimal place, one dp. Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea then on how we can go about finding an angle in a right angle triangle as long as we have got any two sides. And it will involve either the sine ratio, the cosine ratio, or the tan ratio. Okay, so as I say, hope you found that useful. Don't forget, there's plenty more videos on my website for all the maths topics. That's the best place to look for them rather than on my YouTube channel. Okay?